Hello and welcome to Kick Talk Reboot. I'm Callum Crowell. Our featured game this week is the Premiership Clash between Beath and Unbeaten Oven Meadow, and it certainly didn't disappoint. We also have reaction from the Oven Meadow camp and a goal scorers roundup from around the grounds. But now it's on to this weekend's results. Scottish Cup Round 3 Stonywood 2, Cumberney 2 New Coyne Holdings Cup Round 2, Auchinleck 5, Larkhall 1 Stagecoach Premier Division Athlay 2, Cumberlock 1 Beath 2, Oven Meadow 4 Glenafton 4, Clydebike 1 Trin 2, Peters Hill 0 Stagecoach West of Scotland Super League First Division Oven Vix 2, Cumberland United 2 Gosai 3, Greedock 1 Rob Roy 1, Shettleston 2 Neilston 0, Mabel 3 Thornywood 1, Pollock 1 Stagecoach Ayrshire District League Craigmark 0, Luga 5 Kello 5, Govan 4 Kowinning 12, Dorai 1 Muirkirk 1, Sulcoats 5 And Whitlitz 3, Adbank 0 Stagecoach Central League 1st Bells Hill 2, St Anthony's 0 Duddy Pace 1, Benbub 3 Carlook 3, Vale of Clyde 0 Wishaw 0, Ashfield 0 Central League District 2nd Cambys Lang 1, Glasgow Persia 3 New Mains 2, East Kilbride 4 Fourth Wanderers 1, Royal Albert 2 Rossvale 2, Port Glasgow 0 Vale of Leven 3, Johnsonborough 5 and now it's over to a Dross and Herald and Oven Time sports reporter, Stuart McConnell, who is at the match of the day in the Stagecoach Premier League. Welcome to Bellsville Park with the final score in the Stagecoach Super League Premier Division match was B2 Irvine Meadow 4. David Rankin signed it into the match in a nine a game winning run, looking to extend that into double figures. However, they were it was the home side who had them a lot of under a lot of pressure in the first half, so have taken the game to them. And uh, they took the lead in eight minutes when Sean McKenna uh, had a great finish from him from 8 yards after Chris Kerr had teed him up. Uh, after this, uh, Mark Sideserf um, sent a cross into the box at the other end. In 18 minutes, it was headed wide by Willie Sawyers as Meadow tried to get back into it. And then their Shepherd got down well to, to save a shot at the Meadow goal at the other end in 28 minutes. Uh, and then sort of into the second half, Meadow certainly had the bit between their teeth. In the opening minute, Gary McCann shot across the face of goal with the Beath defence struggling. Uh, and then in 59 minutes, the Irvine side of the ball in the net uh, when McCann shot home, but there's right there judged offside. Um, it looked like something was going to give, and it finally did. 59 minutes when Ryan Deese blasted the ball home from 10 yards after being set up by Gary McCann, the, the wide man who had a, yet another excellent game. Uh, for Rankin's side. Then um, Meadow continued to really you know, dominate and, and McParland came close to the, to scoring and then however in 69 minutes McCann shot home from 6 yards a fine finish from him to put uh, the Irvine side ahead and then just a couple of minutes later uh, it was uh, McCann, one dodge, two challenge, he sent a great through ball to Willie Sawyers who rifled it home from eight yards to, to make it 3-1 now on cruise control. It seemed that however in 79 minutes Beath came back into a great finish, a scorch of a shot from 25 yards by Paul Fry's and um, made it kind of interesting. However, just a minute later at the other end, um, any doubts of a... Uh, from the Meadow point of view, were, were banished when uh, the excellent D's uh, shot home from 20 yards. Really, really good finish. Um, and that was really put the tin lid in any hopes of a beef comeback. So, from Bell's, uh, so that was Meadow extending run, beating run to 10 games. And from Bellsdale Park, where the final score in the Stagecoach Super League Premier Division match was. B2, Irvin Meadow 4, it's Stuart McConnell for Kicked Up. And after the match, Stuart McConnell spoke to Irvin Meadow manager Steve Rankin. 
Sure. Well, I mean, well, well done in a very big game for you and a big win. It's ten wins. Big, big game. Ten, ten games in the bounce. It sees out for the, the, the yeah. boys in the dressing room. Especially Again, uh, coming back. Especially after a, that heavy one, it still rings in everybody's ears. But we've got to give credit to the dressing room, the coaching staff. They worked ever so hard on them for the last two weeks to get us yeah. back into our... A belief again, if you want to call it that, and mud and baggers have been terrific to be doing that. I've got the boys into belief. Training has been high, it's been great, mm -hmm. and it's, been, it's went really well. I think you see the second half there. Well, you come down to this part, you're never going to, you're never going to dominate. It's just about the same. It's a hard place to come. You're in the bit between your teeth. I thought after the break, really. Get well, we're 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 the, we're the, we're the boys at half time. Right. Right. In my opinion, we gave away a poor first goal, and thought we had a lot to play first half. But again, look at the slope in the park. Second half, I can't complain about it. I thought we dominated 50 minutes. Ryan, I thought Ryan played well. Ryan plays well. McCann played well defensively. Defensively, Twardle was in stock. Was immense. Immense. And Big Hunt Evans and Mark McGlenn. Back four were great. That's what the two midfielders put a shift in. We told him at Barnes, finding his feet in the junior game now. I'm delighted with oh, his right, performance today. Yeah. So, aye, yeah. all, all positive and all happy, mate. All positive. You're in a good happy. position, aren't you, now to be shot at, I suppose. Ten, yeah, you're, 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 you're getting, you're getting uh, points in, in uh, early as you can, yeah, you know. Yeah. And we wait to see how other teams react to it. Just get the points in the bag as soon as you can. That's 30 points, so 30. It's, it's a remarkable achievement, this. Yeah. And next, Stuart spoke to other medal striker, Willie Sawyers. Willie and you know coming back again after him a deficit um, 10 wins in a row in the league um, and roll yourself up I think going to score should be first and foremost good to get three points and we'll yeah. really go and take next week some comes. Yeah, we'll yeah. Ten and ten. It's been a bit of a turnaround since the Hawking Light Cup died and maybe a few words said and Eh yeah, but we've worked on maybe thought we had to work on and <laughs> Gaffer's done what he said today and yeah. plugged on. How many is that you've got now? I don't know, I am not sure. Uh, yeah. But it's a good team performance, wasn't it? Just, you know, I second know, half. It's, it's always going to be tough shooting uh, up a hill. Yeah. Taking advantage of down the slope. Aye. And what's your target now in the challenge? Aye, the first so we know it's the most important thing. Yeah. So if we win the league in a cup, we're we'll going to win the league. Aye, yeah. that's, that's the first thing. Because the most... 10's quite a marker, isn't it? 10 points and achieve your 10 wins. Aye. Next week, I think, in the cup, um, Craig Mark, we're we'll looking to try and control that. I definitely think we'll get a few goals here. Yeah. Aye, yeah, yeah. Aye, yeah. Aye. And then the league again, I think, with a couple of league games after that. Aye, Aye. Aye. right through the festive. Are you at so... Peter's Hill, or is it away yeah. after that? Oh, yeah, I home to Burnley know. quite soon. Aye, it's Burnley and Glen after and all. Aye, yeah, aye, yeah. yeah. But, yeah but, but we'll just take each game. You have to be shot at, aren't you? I ah, definitely, aye. But, but are you surprised it's gone so well? Really? No, I'm not surprised at all with the quality of the squad. We've got in there. Yeah. So we'll just plod on and we're training Monday. And just, and just a few words at half time now in the gap. Ah, Stephen, I thought it was going to be tough. Ah, yeah. You would have took a one at half time, knowing ah, yeah. the quality we've got in there. Yeah. The I think defensively, you're very strong. Very strong. It's been a. The most important part of the match. We'll always score goals. It seems like a good team spirit. Team. Ah, I can see that. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Are you, are you Willie or Willie? Do you mind? Willie. Willie. W -I -L -I -L -I. Ah, I thought that. Right. Thanks, Willie. Right. Cheers. All the best. And thanks very much to Stuart McConnell. Elvin Meadow going great guns in the Premier Division. They're 11 points clear and that's 10 wins out of 10 today. Really fantastic stuff from the Meadow Park side. But now it's on to our goal scorers roundup and the Premiership Basement Boys Clyde Banks suffered a 4-1 reversal to inform Glenafton. A double from Marlow and goals from Strachan and Connolly put the Glens in charge and they've moved up to fourth in the Premier. A Dale Moore double against Peters Hill lifted Troon above Kilburnie in the Premier Division, although Laidside have a game in hand after snatching a late equaliser at Stonywood in the third round of the Scottish Club. Replay next week. At Barhead, Cumnock were leading 1-0 at half-time over Athley, who mounted a second-half comeback thanks to a double from Smith. And down into the first division, it was top versus bottom as Pollock travelled to Thornywood. Alan McKenzie opened the scoring for the visitors with a long-range curling effort, which was cancelled out by a second-half penalty. Shettleson's impressive season continued with a 2-1 victory at Rob Roy. Goals from McMenman and Anson helped move the City men to within eight points of leaders Pollock with two games in hand. And it was an impressive 3 0 win for third place May Bowl against Nielsen. Patterson, Stevenson and Dunwoody were on the score sheet. 
in the Ayrshire district, Kawinning demolished the Rye with a tremendous 12-1 victory at Abbey Park. Inform buffs managed by Chris Strain Jr. have now notched 55 goals in 10 league matches. And in the new Coins Automatic second round, Auchinleck ousted Lark Hall with relative ease 5-1. Goal scorers for the Talbot were Milliken, Hislop, a Wilson double and Gormley. That's it from Kick Talk Reboot this week. Special thanks to Stuart McConnell for his match reports and interviews after the Beef V of a medal clash. Thank you and goodbye.